would you rather have Jesus or silver and gold? Green coffee. I pity the fool who doesn't choose Jesus. In this episode, we'll be doing a game of Would You Rather. I've had friends from Facebook share some questions with me of what they would want to know, which would I rather. Our next question comes from my aunt, Eleanor Pulliam. Hey, auntie. Would you rather live in Cayo, Belize, or live in Miami, Florida? The coldest of winters are warm and divine. Miami, Miami. Auntie, you already know the answer to this question. I have to say what I feel. Only reason I'm in Miami is for the money. The job. Anything else? Miami was on the top of my list of places I would never live. And I've actually lived in Los Angeles, and I prefer LA to Miami. So what would I rather? I'd rather live in Cayo, Belize. Now, my family knows that there is a desire in me to live in Belize. Well, you'd best start Belizing. I haven't been many places in Belize, but if the few places that I've been, I prefer Cayo. That there's a, that such, it's... I'm not much of a water person, probably because I can't swim, so Corozal is not the place. That there's, in such a, it's... A range walk is flat, not much to see, not much to do. It's called Belize! But Cayo, I love the mountains. If you know anything about me, I love nature. Nailed it! So I'll set up with the jaguars and take my chances in Cayo. Good morning, Belize, and good morning. I say good morning, Feliz, and good morning. Our next question comes from Ryan Carrington. Hey, Ryan. I work with Ryan, and let me tell you, she is an awesome teacher. Her question is, would you rather be a kid or an adult? i tell you the truth. Growing up, my mom would always say, man, I wish I could be a kid again because you have it easy. Stay here. Stay as long as you can. And I would think to myself, no, everybody has issues for their age or that's relevant to their age. And to this day, I believe that to be true. Kids compared to adults, yeah, they might have it easy. But remember, we as adults have learned how to deal with many stresses in life that kids have not. So there's kind of a equivalence between the stress level based on experiences between children and adults. Thus, I would rather be an adult. I would never want to be a kid again, especially a teenager. I'll deal with the backlashes of Sally Mae. Here's the word I have issues with. Adulting. I'd rather dealing with the bills, having to pay rent and all of that stuff, than having to be trapped in childhood, where your choices are limited, your experiences are limited, and you're still trying to figure yourself out. I know who I am as an adult. I prefer to be who I am. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call it. Our next question comes from Tish McDonald. Tish and I, we used to work together when I used to live in Boston. Remember? Freezing hell. Her question is, would you rather be married or single? You know, I became a Christian when I was a teenager and I always thought that I would become married at a very young age. It's beautiful. It's a symbol of my undying affliction for you. Then I went away to college and my mindset changed. It changed from wanting to be a traditional Christian with a family that's set up and nice and neat to wanting something more than just a mundane or traditional life. So my mindset switched from wanting to get married as soon as possible to becoming a missionary and enjoying life. It's easy to live a comfortable life. It's easy to go to church each week. It's easy to live the Christian life. But how far are you willing to go for the Lord? Now that I'm out of college, it's been a while. Now that I'm out of college, I find it very difficult to find someone that meshes with me. And the older I get, the harder it is, actually, to, to find someone because I've become so self-reliant. And I'm at a point in my life where I'm actually very happy and very content being single. And it's funny because Christians, for some reason, they just feel that something is wrong with you if you're not married. But the Bible also says that singleness is a gift. 
Surely you can't be serious. And I enjoy it, because I come home and I don't have to worry about anybody but myself. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Can watch TV, whatever I want, whenever I want, as late as I want. Have the entire bed to myself, not worrying about someone stealing the sheets. The only thing I'm really missing is a little... It's, it's called Belize. Nailed it! So, what would you like to know about me and what I would rather do? Leave it in the comment section below. Peace.